After their close encounter on Zune, the crew of the Zinfandel is ready for some relative relaxation on their way to Ketropolis. However, just a mere two days out from their first port of call, the computer has picked up a distress signal from a stranded ship deep in the disputed zone of this part of North Galaxy. How will Freezer handle this latest distraction after coming close to succumbing to his injuries? Captain? Yes, what is it? I have a stranded craft located a few thousand miles from our position, which seems to be drifting a little too close to the heater zone for my liking. Suggest we hail them and see what's wrong? me? I've had enough excitement for one day after all that nonsense on Zoom. If you seriously think that I will get myself involved with yet another scheme that has nothing to do with me- Hailing them anyway! What?! Ha! That's my girl. Acting with her simulated gun. What's going on? Why have we changed course? The computer's picked up a maroon ship in need of rescue. Neat! Let's pick him up! Rescue mission? Awesome! Tell me in! Does anyone even recognize me as the ship's captain? Sure we do. You, uh, look like the captain, so therefore you're the captain. <sighs> Open visual. Hello? My name is Trey. My ship's run out of fuel and locked aboard a sailor. Request immediate retrieval at once. Please! <laughs> Amateur. That ship's not cut out for traveling around these parts. Seriously? No FTL drive or anything? No wonder he got stuck out there. Should be left to rue his mistake if you ask me. Oh, come on, Kit. Have a heart. Don't worry, stranger. Tractor Beam is locked on and we're pulling you in. Oh, thank you. What makes you so sure that he isn't a trap, computer? I like the sound of his voice. <sighs> You're way too trusted. Whoa. I couldn't thank you enough, everyone. I thought I was a gunner for sure. I escaped with my life from certain danger, and then found myself in yet another brush with said danger. Luckily, you friendly folks found me. No problem. Uh, Spades, right? Correct. Pilot and maverick extraordinaire. Where's the fabulously merciful and delectable darling that responded to my distress call? Save my life. That would be me. Well, all I've got to say to you is, what are you doing for dinner tonight? Oh, I like him. Somebody who takes an interest in me. It's a heinous crime for anybody to not relish in what you have to say. Well, if by dinner you mean doing diagnostics on the ship-wide biofield networks and then settling into some galactic chart number crunching across billions of miles of space with a defrag in the background going on simultaneously, then not a lot. Sounds delightful. Might I request access to a bed? Sorry, I didn't get your name. I don't have one. Somebody hasn't come up with one yet. How is it possible for an artificial intelligence to hold such grudges? You're looking at it, boss. Such neglect for such a magnificent machine, with eyes the color of a good glass of Shiraz on a warm summer's eve, as the breeze gently rustles the nearby trees. <laughs> Stop! I'm not used to such eloquent inputs. Oh, for goodness sake! I'm going to go throw up in my quarters. Jill, I deal with this sickening sucker. Aye, aye. Much obliged, little one. Once I've showered, I shall be ready for any questioning you may have for me. Follow the wall lights to your quarters, Mr. Spades. Hmm. What's bothering you, pal? I don't know. There's something about that guy I recognize, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, where do you recognize him from? That's the thing, I'm not sure. But something doesn't add up, though. Uh, how can such a suave and sophisticated looking pilot pull such an amateur error? Amateur? Yeah, you heard Kit. That ship of his has no FTL drive. Surely someone of his perceived experience wouldn't be anywhere near here. This place is not somewhere you want to be dawdling. 
The heater zone is not a place to be idling unless you want your brain picked for information. And not in a good way. Yikes. When you put it that way, it does sound kind of fishy. Let's ask him some questions when he's done showering. Computer, deliver a message to our guest. Tell him to meet us in the meeting room. Forgive the intrusion, Mr. Spades, but your presence is requested in the meeting room when you're ready. Ah, excellent, Shiraz. I shall be firing on all cylinders shortly. Shiraz? Yes, that's the name I came up for you. Thought it was rather apt given your pixelated visage's tonal range. Shiraz. I love it. I shall log that into my identship now. Shiraz of the Zinfandel. Sounds perfect. Glad I could leave such an impression on you. Tell me, how is it that such a prodigious computer such as yourself wound up with such a cantankerous oath as Captain? Oh, well, Captain F is not so bad once you get to know him. I was brought on a trade planet by him and Kit, our ship's mechanic, for a hefty price. Up until then, I was scheduled for termination due to my rather flamboyant disposition. It's not very common for computers such as myself to have such flair. Kit saw potential in me and saved me from deletion, to which I am eternally grateful. Having said that, it would be nice for the captain to be a little bit more willing to have more informal discourse with me every now and again. Don't worry. I'd be more than happy to provide you with that in the fullness of time. I look forward to it. Right. Let's go see what they want, Shiraz. Are my clothes ready yet? Check the wardrobe now. The heiress should have done their work. Excellent. Although this looks a little scuffed up still, but no matter. Oh, Mr. Spades. That's right. Folks call me the Ace of Spades, given how many scrapes I've managed to avert over the years. So tell me, what do you want to know? Well, for starters, you can explain to my chief mechanic here the reason for you being stranded here in this particular part of the galaxy. It seems awfully unusual. That's right. According to the scans of Romulan ship, it has no right to be in this sector. It's got a puny propulsion system and its top speed is laughable. But the fuel tanks were practically full still. So you were sitting dug for no reason. Are you trying to get yourself killed, boy? Listen, fellas. There's a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of this. Which is? I'm getting to it. Um, uh, I just want to phrase it the best way possible. You're not telling tall tales in a dive on some backwater planet, sir. You are in the company of the illustrious Captain F aboard the fastest ship in the galaxy. Do spare me with your flipperies. Go easy on him, Captain. He's just finding the right words, aren't you? Uh, yes. That's right, Shiraz. I I'm sorry, what? That's my new name! Since you couldn't be bothered to come up with one, no need to worry anymore. You needn't stress yourself with such an arduous task, sir. Alright! That is it! Captain? I will not tolerate such subversion aboard my ship! How dare you bequeath monikers to my crew without my express permission or even my knowledge? Please, Skipper, forgive my actions. I was wishing to name the computer myself and have been agonizing about it for many nights just to come up with the right one. I wanted to be sure it was a name she could be proud of and would wear with honor and would carry the Zinfandel into the history books with great aplomb and respect. Captain. Now I hear that you and she have been cavorting behind my back. You have no right to be making decisions here. S Skipper, please stop. What did I just say? You have wronged me. You picked the wrong time to be messing with my authority, scoundrel. The last few days have not been the best for me. Give me one good reason I shouldn't blast you into pieces. Hey, cool it! He's not doing anything wrong! Captain, stop! Audible, cut it out! Oh, he's right! 
I'm a fraud. Now please go it with the ban thing, man. <laughs> I knew it. All talk. Speaking of talk, you remind me of someone. Oh, no, no. You're mistaken. I'm not who you think. I I'm nobody. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. You're Otios, aren't ya? <laughs> Otios? What's an Otios? Computer? I mean, Shiraz. Access your archives for the name Otios. Oh, no, 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 don't. Accessing now. No. It can't be true. Wait. No, it is. How could you? Oh, it's true. It's all true. You got me. Uh, I'm still not sure who you are. Could you guys fill me in, please? Oh, yes, do. I'm rather keen to find out how much of a sniveling little wreck this fool really is. Odios is famous for being the galaxy's greatest time waster. When I was a kid, I was told by my carers to not dawdle or else I'd end up being an Odios. Really? Oh, amazing. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I remember that term from all the chatter on the Garbage World Board radios. I didn't talk much in those for obvious reasons. I'm not a people person, but that name? Oh, that name came up all the time when it came to people being late for shifts and stuff. Now I get to see the legend in the flesh. Nice. And the fact is time-wasting has been deemed responsible for starting at least 20 galactic wars. One Piece Treaty 2, you know. That, that makes up for it, right? Look, stop it, guys. I'm already sad enough as it is. Wait. This doesn't explain the reason you were stranded in the middle of space despite having a full tank of gas. I was bored, all right? You are bored. Uh, uh, come, uh, come again. You heard me. I was bored. Space is like really big, you know? I stole that shit from my latest captors who got bored of me. They practically let me take it just to get rid of me. No, you're just feeling low, man. It can't be that bad. They even gave me their keys to it and a packed lunch. Oh, it can be that bad. Did they rumble who you were? Yeah, they did. Now that I think about it, they let me steal that shit because... Because you take forever to get anywhere and cause trouble again. <laughs> I gotta admit, that's pretty smart. Can you just let me go, please? I'll just figure something out on my own. How could you lie? You told me such nice things and gave me such a nice name. No, no, I meant that part about your name. The name suits you. Captain, permission to toss this wretch into the airlock. I will not tolerate lies aboard my ship. <laughs> No, oh, no, computer, that won't be necessary. He's already provided me enough entertainment for one day. Let him go of his own accord. Oh, thank you, Captain. Please accept this. It's the most valuable thing I have on me. It's a brooch. A gift from the Frigidarian Empire. I hear they're pretty up and coming. So this might be worth a credit or two on the black market. I'm sorry. D did you say Frigidarian Empire? I thought that they were but a bunch of fanatics. Since when did they have the resources to make such admittedly impressive looking costume jewelry? No, nah, man, their shit was like really big and cool looking. From what I could tell, they were on a mission to go somewhere. People all about the ship talking things, I didn't understand one bit, but they treated me nicely. That That is until I... Well, did my thing of being a time waster, they didn't really like that. So they gave me the ship and told me to get out. I took this brooch with me in case I could use it to buy favor somewhere. Your supposition is correct. I will be taking this off your hands. Are you sure that's wise, sir? It might be a trap. No. No, it's not. Now my empathic systems are realigned. What he is saying checks out. If only I did it before this liar got to him. Shiraz, please. If there's one thing I meant sincerely, it was your name suiting you. You gotta believe me. Please report to your ship and leave. You heard the lady. Scrape. But, but the brooch! 
Surely it's worth something. Yes, it is. It's worth your life. Chilai, do escort this fool to his ship. Aye, aye, sir. Well, you're going to have a go at me too. No, but sir, you didn't waste our time today. I... I didn't? How? That brooch has gotten the captain excited. I can feel it. Also, without your legend in my life, I would have probably been a time waster myself. Thanks to you, I wouldn't even be where I am now. You gave me focus. So, thank you. Is... Is that supposed to be a compliment? It sounds a bit like a backhanded one. Just take it and be lucky you weren't vaporized. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, thanks, kid. Chilai. The name's Chilai. Computer, it seems that things might be starting to make sense around here. Stolen documents, my father's cape, this brooch, the garbage world we're heading to. It's almost as if the Empire wanted me to find that imbecile. Now, though, I feel that it is imperative we make haste to the garbage world. Kidtropolis. Yes, 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 Kidtropolis. And ensure we can prevent this crazy faction from getting what they want. If this has anything to do with that maniac of a brother of mine, then we must act. You got that right, Rory boy. Shiraz. I'm sorry, what? The name's Shiraz, Captain. But... but that oath lied to you, and... I... I didn't get to name you myself. It was indeed the only thing prior to him being found out that he was honest about. I looked back through the audio records. He meant it. And I sensed that you liked the name yourself, Captain. Well, um... Y- yes, I, I must admit it does have a... nice... Very well. Sure as it is. I... I am sorry that you found out his true identity in that fashion, though. It's all right, Captain. I was just happy to hear that you did care about my feelings and well-being. That makes it feel less raw. Now, let's head for Kitropolis on the double. Excellent idea, Shiraz. Onward! With her name set in stone, Shiraz and the Zinfandel have the smell of adventure in their midst. But what are the Frigidarian Empire up to? Will they be there to meet our heroes on Kitropolis? Find out on the next exciting episode of the Chronicles of Good Freezer in Revelation F.